move over Kath Neal. Kath Dunn is about to break box office records as Hello, Love, Goodbye goes into its first week in cinemas nationwide. The numbers for Star Cinema's latest romantic drama from director Kathy Garcia Molina has grossed over P250 million in just five days since its release. B stars the inspired crossover pairing of ABS CBN and GMA Networks prized artists Catherine Bernardo and Alden Richards, respectively, and is inching closer and closer to beating Bernardo's movie team up with real life boyfriend Daniel Padilla. 2018's The House of Us, which holds the record as the highest grossing Filipino film of all time, earning P601 million over a period of 20 days. Bernardo and Alden Richards' Hello, Love Goodbye is inching closer and closer to beating 2018's The House of Us. Day Star Cinema posted on its Instagram account, P250, 040, 718. Eight years of August 4. Hearts touched, people reached, lives inspired. A weekend full of love hashtag hello love goodbye hashtag hello love Monday. Being rave reviews from all directions, Hello, Love, Goodbye, HLB, combines the painful realities of overseas Filipino workers in Hong Kong with an emotionally charged love story between strangers Ethan, Richards, and Joy, Bernardo. HLB was off to a massive start grossing P34 million on its July 31st opening day across 350 theaters nationwide. The number sparked the Kath Neal Kathden box office assessment with The House of Us raking just a million more on its first day at P35.9 million across a bigger number of screens. International showings still to hit the Middle East, Singapore, Norway, Saipan, Guam and Papua New Guinea, USA, Canada and Israel on August 8 and 9. Industry observers predict HLB will easily beat The House of Us come its total box office tally. It is heartening to see the local movies alive and kicking with Kathden's team up, there is an overarching lesson to be learned by all from the ongoing phenomenon. Filipinos will troop to the movies when offered something new and something fresh, so it's high time the networks set aside their rivalry and allow more crossovers for everyone's good.